Talk about some of the deals that you brought to the table while at Bad Boy. Yeah, so the irony was Puffy, you know, overnight he was the overnight global sensation with the song Missing You, right? So now he's got the biggest song in the world crossed over every single chart. I mean, I think he broke all types of records in terms of like all the different music formats that are played on. So my grandma knew who he was, right? Like she had no business knowing who he was, but she's like, you work for that. Daddy. <laughs> um, and so he's doing a, a, a national tour, but like stadiums, not like, like he went straight from like n never performing live to like doing stadiums. And so I'm like, well, who's gonna, be? by the way, the tour's leaving and like, eight weeks he formed it like eight weeks later he's out on the road so there was very little time so i'm like who's going to sponsor the tour he's like what's that and i'm like you get like a corporate sponsor and they get signage rights and meet and greets and all this stuff he goes i don't know i don't got anyone go find someone so i start cold calling i'm like well pepsi's the perfect fit right because they're tied into they they were leaning into hip-hop music a little bit so i cold called rick rock i remember he's the vp of marketing and i left an urgent message and i i, I said you know Sean Combs would love to speak to you. He's a huge fan of Pepsi, and he wants to talk to you about his upcoming tour and how you guys could work together, and I'm giving the spiel to the assistant. And then I get a text, of course, because the phone couldn't call me. <laughs> <laughs> I get a text from his assistant saying, please call me, and so I call back, and she goes, uh, he would like you to speak to Kanetta Bailey, um, and you could talk about this opportunity with her. So, again, I did the spiel to Kaneda, she's like, it doesn't really leave us a lot of time. I said, I understand, but the opportunity is too great to not at least take a meeting. So we got a meeting, we talked about what we could do, and literally, like, within two weeks, we closed the deal and got, like, a $750,000 tour sponsorship. Amazing. So he was blown away. Like, you got $750,000 for them to put signage up and this and that. So, yeah. It's a nice little commission for you, too. No, it wasn't. I got screwed. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>